Welcome to Collecting Chaos. It's time for Tuesday's Treasures. Today I have uh, comics from three different people that I'm going to show you. And uh, yeah, let's get on it. Now this first batch, I probably got six or seven weeks ago. And uh, when I opened them up, it almost knocked me over. The smell of cigarette smoke was so strong, I couldn't, I couldn't. It, it literally took my breath away. Uh, so I took the comics, got rid of all of the, the bags that they were in, got rid of all the packing materials, got rid of all that crap, immediately took it. You know, I put it in the trash bag. I immediately took the trash bag out and put it into my, my uh, trash can outside. Even though it wasn't full, I just didn't even want it in the house. Then I took the comics and uh, I put them in a plastic tub. And on the bottom of that tub, I had uh, baking soda. And then I put a, something down to hold the comics off of it. And I set the comics in there. And each week, for six weeks... I changed the baking soda. They are finally to the point where I can tolerate them and go ahead and show them to you. Uh, I will not be buying from that individual again. I just, I can't go through that again. It was too much. So uh, we'll get started on those. And we're starting with World's Finest, number 170, 80 page giant, uh, giant number 40. So is it? 80 page giant number 40 and as you can see it's got a pretty bad spine split I knew that already that's not a big deal it's got some yeah it needs to go back and it needs to go in my ozone chamber for a while and then needs a good cleaning this is a square bound book so putting it back together is not going to be an easy thing to do unless I completely remove the cover piece the cover back together and then put it back which I can't do because it's missing part up here. So I'll probably just, yeah, I'll probably put it in the ozone chamber and then clean it and uh, see if I can't get some of that foxing off of it. Next up, Superman number 235. I actually remember buying a copy of this off the newsstand. It's from 1971. I was still in high school. And, uh, yeah, this one's not too bad. I might go ahead and give it a clean anyway. Uh, haven't decided yet. But it is one that I didn't have in my collection, so that's nice. Uh, Superboy number 189. I don't know, didn't have this one in my collection either. Uh, it's got, you know, a spine split here. creamed off-white pages 1972 I remember buying this one too the runaway super baby was a pretty good story as I remember it does have a little piece folded over here so it probably could use a clean and a press it's got some dirt there yeah these will probably all get cleaned and pressed next up secrets of sinister house number 14 yeah, I like that cover a lot. Uh, generally pretty good stuff. Again, I'll probably go ahead and clean it. It has a lot of dirt on the back. Secret Origins number three. This is one of the reasons why I bought the, these. And why I wanted them. Uh, I did pay up for these. I probably paid more than what they were worth. Uh, but uh, yeah, that's sometimes you just gotta pay a little more to get what you want. This is a Justice League of America number 84. I think I might have a copy of this. I don't know. If I do, I'll probably put this one up for sale, unless this one's in better condition. Uh, 
again, I'll probably clean it and press it. I don't know why I say clean and press. Anytime I clean something, I press it. Uh, Detective Comics, number 463, Batman vs. the Black Spider. This uh, 1976, 77, somewhere around there. Yeah, 1976. This is uh, early for the barcode. It started around June or July of 1976. So. It has a, uh, a date written in grease pencil. I could remove that if I wanted to. Again, it definitely needs a clean. Detective Comics number 464. Again, fighting the black spider. Is that the next issue? Yes, it is. Consecutive issues. Uh, Ernie Chua cover. Always liked his stuff. And he did some of the interior art as well. Gotta love these advertisements. And I have a Black Hawk number 228. Black Hawk in the Justice League. It's from January 1967. Late Silver Age. Good stuff. We like it. Needs a clean. Black Hawk number 147. Used to read Black Hawk all the time when I was younger. 1960. Adam number 20. I think I have a copy of this. I think this might be a double. Classic Gil Kane art. Some of the best art he ever did. This was in these. Uh, there are people that are, will argue with me on that, but uh, yeah. I'll have to fix these pages when I go to clean and press it so that it's not. Uh, not like that anymore. Good stuff. We like it. Needs to be cleaned. Adventure number 344. I do have a copy of this, but I think my copy is in worse shape. I think my copy has some... Uh, water stains on it. This is actually not a bad looking copy. Again, clean will make it look a whole lot better. Action number 280. Really bad water stain on the edge. Goes all the way through the comic. Rusty staple that's nearly detached. Uh, this is going to get a little bit of work. Yeah. Uh, I will see if I have a donor staple I can use on that or maybe maybe I can just clean that staple up with if I'm lucky both of them have some rust and rust migration on the on the pages so yeah it's oh yeah that's that's pretty bad in on the inside I don't know if I can safely remove those staples without breaking them or not so I'll have to see if I have a night some 1960 staples and finally, from that batch, New Adventures of Superboy, number seven. Carrie Bates, Kurt Schaffenberger, good stuff. Off-white pages, still stinks a little bit, but I think cleaning them is going to help that some. Like I said, it's, it's to the point now where I can at least tolerate them. Uh, the next batch I got, still have these in the bags, I haven't taken them out of the bags yet. Include Red Sonia, She Devil with a Sword, number six. It's from 1976. Frank Thorne cover. Love Frank Thorne's she, uh, Red Sonia. And I have number eight. Again, Frank Thorne. Goodness. These are in pretty nice shape. 
number 10. I buy these when I see them and they're reasonably priced. Uh, I, I don't like uh, not buying them. Uh, I think this one might be a Basima cover. I'm not sure. Number 15. Definitely not Frank Thorne. And the last one from that batch. Conan the Barbarian number two. It's in very good condition. Uh, early Barry Windsor Smith. Uh, I guess the next one I need to buy for this collection is number three. Okay, that's two down. I got one to go. And we'll start with some Charlton, really nice looking Charlton. Scary Tales, number 42. It's from the 70s, but I mean, it's, it's immaculate. I mean, this is a gorgeous comic. I don't see any flaws, which is really rare with Charlton's. Number 43. Again, really nice copy. It has a little bit of yellowing here where it's supposed to be white. But that's okay. A little yellowing up here. Just Charlton's from this time frame. From pretty much any time frame were cheaply made. And number 44. Good stuff. Next, we have The Witching Hour, number 67. Now, this is probably a very good copy. Again, Ernie Chua, unfortunately, his, his work is kind of ruined because Vince Coletta is the inker, and he was not, he, he not my favorite inker, that's for sure. And apparently, he wasn't the most of the pencilers' favorite inker either, but he was fast. And number 68, and this is a Rich Buckler um, cover. And I was actually a little surprised when I found out this was Rich Buckler art. Because it doesn't look like him, the way he draws. But again, Coletta inks. Sorry if you're a Vince Coletta fan, but I'm not. Here, Boris Karloff, Tales of Mystery. This is from... Uh, October 1976. I know this because of the 30 cent price tag. And then of course the, the uh, dating code here. Uh, not sure what number it is. Not going to worry about it right now. And Boris Karloff, Tales of Mystery from December of 1976. So these are probably consecutive issues. Like the painted art on these. I always have. I like gold key comics. And uh, that's going to be it. That's, uh, that's my uh, Tuesday's Treasures. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow for my uh, Eternal My Light project. Might have a little surprise for you on that one. In the meantime, make sure before you handle your comics, you wash your hands. It's good for your comics. More importantly, it's good for your health. And we will see you tomorrow. Tomorrow? Oh, no. We'll see you at 5. I'm going live at 5 today. That's right. Live at 5 today. And I'm going to have a whole bunch of comic books. And they're all going to be either a dollar or they will start at a dollar and I have about 150 to 200 of them I'd like to uh, offer up today so we'll see what happens with that don't want to miss it ought to be good in the meantime have yourself a wonderful day bye